Right, hi guys. Um, I'm on my way to Scotland now, up to the Cairngorms National Park. Um, and I've stopped off uh, about halfway, so I'm at a place called Scotch Corner at a travel lodge. And I'm staying here for this evening, and then up early tomorrow morning, and then it's off to the Highlands. So um, I've probably got about another four or five hours driving tomorrow. Um, but it should be a really nice drive, because once I get past sort of, uh, you know, the base of Scotland, past Glasgow, it's up into the, the mountains, and the road should be great. So the journey should be really nice. I'm really looking forward to the drive. Um, and, you know, on the way up here, I left uh, around about lunchtime, because I had to pack all the car up, and I was working uh, yesterday, so I couldn't pack the car up in the evening. So I packed the car up this morning, had something to eat, and then I hit the road about half one, and um, about five hours later, I'm up at Scotch Corner, which is up in Yorkshire. So about halfway up on my way to uh, the Cairngorms National Park. And when I get there, I'm going to meet my, my friends. And um, the day after, then we're going to go out and hopefully start photographing mountain hare, snow buntings, um, possibly ptarmigan, uh, crested tits. So all sorts of stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. And hopefully um, I'll do some landscapes as well. So, uh, yeah, all that remains really is for me to uh, jump in the shower, have a quick read, I think, of my book, and uh, hit the sack up nice and early tomorrow morning, and then uh, I'm going to hit the road, and I can't wait to get to uh, Scotland and to get into the Highlands of Scotland, because um, it's an awesome area. The Camgorms, Camgorms National Park is a fantastic place. I've only spent um, a small amount of time there um, up to now so I'm going to be there for a week which is uh, going to be great yeah I'm so looking forward to it so uh, I'll say night for now guys and I'll uh, see you tomorrow on the journey up to Scotland yeah bye for now right hi guys um, I'm almost nearing my journey's end so uh, I'm probably about half an hour away from um, the cottage I'm staying at and it's been a pretty good journey. Uh, I've been about on the road for about five or six hours, I guess. Um, it's taken a bit longer because I've stopped for tea, I've stopped for lunch, and um, I've taken a, a really nice, um, just by the right side of the road, but a really nice uh, sunrise over the mountains in Yorkshire on the way up. Uh, so I started off at Scotch Corner, which is where I stayed last night. And uh, as I say, I'm just nearing my cottage, which is right in the middle of the Cairngorm. So yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting up with my friends. Uh, they're out uh, on the mountains at the moment so I won't see them until a bit later on uh, it's a probably about half three-ish now uh, so it's getting on so I probably won't get out and do any photography for myself today uh, because by the time I'm out I'll only have an hour's uh, light and um, I don't think uh, I'm going to get much done because uh, I need to explore the area as well so there's no point in just flying out and a waste of my time but yeah looking forward to the next uh, five or six days um, I'm hopefully tomorrow going to go and photograph uh, snow buntings um i've photographed snow buntings before um on a beach in norfolk which is lovely but i want to try and get the snow buntings in the snow so uh, they're a fantastic little bird and i think they'll look great in the snow so i think that's the plan for tomorrow and then i'm going to look for mountain hares um, red deer uh, maybe sort of red squirrels uh, stuff like that so um yeah it's all good it's been as i say a great journey up here um, ready for tomorrow now. Uh, I would have done a little piece of camera just to finish this um, my journey off outside but it's really windy so I thought I'd just um, sort of um, finish off the journey story uh, inside where it's um, a little bit less windy and it's certainly a lot easier on the audio side. So um, I'm guessing I'll probably speak to you tomorrow. Uh, I'll be in the mountain somewhere uh, either snow bunnies or mountain hares and uh, yeah I think that's about it for now. So I'll uh, speak to you soon guys. Bye for now. So these were the first two hare we found actually and they were absolutely brilliant subjects to photograph. Um, they were sort of, you know, feeding for a while, they were grooming and um, yeah, it was a really nice moment. Then all of a sudden they sort of took off up the hill, uh, running at a fairly full pelt and got some nice sort of shots of them running. And then uh, just at the before you got to the ridge of the hill, they uh, almost started boxing. So although I didn't get full boxing shots, I've got some really nice shots where they're sort of up on their hind legs and they're squaring off and then one chase the other off again. So it was a, a really good way to start the day. 
and uh, the conditions sort of varied you know it was uh, one minute it was sunny the next minute it was cloudy so we got lots of different lighting conditions and it, it was a really good moment actually so a uh, great way to start the day and um, then uh, as um, the day wore on we found a really another great subject to photograph Really hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, this is uh, Mountain Hares in the Cairngorms Part 1. I've got another video uh, coming up um, with uh, Mountain Hares again in the Cairngorms and it was a fantastic day too. I've probably got my favourite encounter with a, a mountain hare. We were um, photographing this mountain hare and really nice and quiet sitting down in the snow um, and this hair was really relaxed so there was no problems it was a great session then all of a sudden it looked straight into the camera and it started running at me full pill and it was amazing it, it got closer and closer and closer I was hitting the shutter button and then suddenly about when it was about two feet away from me it veered off and ran up the hill and it moved so quickly if it kept going it would have literally jumped in my lap it was a fantastic experience probably the best experience of the the whole week i was up in the Cairngorms, and i got i think my best mountain hair pictures so i really like the pictures featured in this video but i think the pictures i got in um in on day two which will feature in the second video that i'm gonna uh, upload to youtube they were my favorites and it was a fantastic encounter so look um yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video um and if you have enjoyed it if you can consider subscribing to my channel that would be great and if you do subscribe if you can press the little bell icon you'll be notified when my next video is uploaded and then uh, of course if you can uh, like or share the video that always helps so thanks for watching guys and uh, i'll see you on the next one